I'm Aki Kareem for British Boxers. I'm joined by Mr. Bobby Rimmer and Mr. Brian Rose, ahead of what is, you know, built to be one of the fights of the night, really, uh, on Saturday. And first, we'll start with you, Brian. Um, how much do we need to make about this whole sort of you guys being friends thing? Is that something we really need to look into for this fight? Well, we were friends, but um, he sold his mate out for money. You know, that, that's how I see it. Um, I don't go into it too much on, on certain interviews, but you know the Sky TV because they've got to be professional, and I understand that. But um, at the end of the day, we said we wouldn't take the fight in the morning, and then by the night he took the fight for the same money. So, and I know it was the same money. So it, it, it is what it is now. It's true. I'm just treating Jack like any other opponent, if not worse, because I left a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm riled and when I've been riled in the past, which is pretty hard to get me angry. Um, I've come out fighting and, and, and I've performed, so um, it is what it is, you know, I'll shake his hand afterwards but it, I don't think it'll ever be the same again because um, he knows my two kids, he lived with me for five, six years, you know, um, I don't, I'm not going to go in too much into it, you know, it, the fight's here now, we're fighting Saturday night and uh, may the best man win. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and Bobby as well. Uh, quite uncharacteristic in a way uh, in a way of you to kind of just, um, you know, let us know your brutal thoughts in a way. Yeah, uh, I, kind of, I, I kind of keep, keep stuff in and I, 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 I wasn't being disrespectful to anybody, you know, but, you know, they've been a little bit coming back from their camp. They've, they've had a few chips at me and obviously, you know, Michael Jennings decided to throw another chip at me today, you know what I mean? So, you know, I thought, you know, I'm going to tell everybody the truth, that, that Jack Armfield has always... I mean, when, when, when Jack had the break from boxing, before that it was fantastic. Then when he came back after that break, Brian was ahead of him. Brian had a two-year... Uh, Jack had a two-year break. Brian was ahead of him and he was outright winning the one tail belt. Jack was never the same again, even in the gym he wasn't the same. And I said to Brian then, he's going to go, you know. I said to Brian, he's going to go. And he did, you know, so it was no surprise to me. It was no surprise to me when he went, you know what I mean? Um, well, that's it, you know, it, you know, he's fueled by jealousy, you know, and there's an old saying in the Manchester, jealousy gets you nowhere, you know, uh, so, so yeah, it, it, and, and like I said up there, it's, this has given us a kick up the arse, both of us. I needed one, he needed one, we've had it, so everything's gone perfect. Like I said up there, I'm bringing the best Brian Rose, humanly possible, to this fight on Saturday night. Okay, and Brian, just talking technically about the fight, you have been in with some serious players like Andrade, like Macklin. You know, do you feel that um, Jack is actually below that in terms of a level? Of course, I think Jack could have done with probably three or four more fights. At um, a bigger level, at a higher level. Um, you know, step ups. I think this is too much too soon for, for, for Jack. Um, the level of opposition, the difference between opponents, you know, he fought John Ryder. No disrespect to John Ryder, I, I, I wouldn't even check, fight John Ryder because I felt it was a step back. Um, so that's the reason I didn't fight him. He fought John Ryder and that's his best win today. So for me, um, I've been in with two, three world, ex-world champions, um, for final eliminator, was mandatory for a world title. I was actually number number two number two in the WBO rankings at yeah. one point. So, for me, I've been You're mandatory for the winner of Canelo Khan at one point, weren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was high up in all the yeah, world yeah. rankings and yeah. I, I'll get there again. You know, he's going on, drumming on about how he's above me in the middleweight rankings. He was nowhere near me in the light middleweight rankings. I've only just moved up to middleweight. So he's going to be higher than me. He's had, he's had five, six fights at middle. So uh, he, he's drumming on about, you know, it's just the business. I'm going to show him what, what, what boxing is about on, on Saturday. I'm going to show him that boxing is a business. Okay, and I know you don't like making predictions, I know that you know, you've said that just then, but uh, how do you see the fight panning out in terms of the dynamics of the fight? Win, win, and look good doing it. I'm going to, I'm in the shape of my life. Um, if I don't beat Jack Armfield on Saturday, um, fair play to the kid, because this is the best he's going to get me. You know, he's not, he's not even seen me in this sort of shape. Fantastic, and the same question to you then, Bobby. Yeah, it's a, listen, it's a win for Brian Rose. I don't see it any other way. Uh, it's the most comfortable and confident I've felt um, in a fight with Brian for the last couple of years because, like I said, 76 rounds of sparring, no injuries, no excuses. He's done everything I've asked of him, and, and I have asked a lot. 
because I needed to ask a lot for this, you know what I mean? And, and I was a little bit worried in the beginning whether it was going to be like when we fought Matthew Macklin and was all going to be friends and stuff like that. But, you know, you know, Armfield's come out saying a few things, the trainers come out saying a few things. So all that friendship's gone, it's great. Belt him for me, you know. I don't need any more friends, I've got tons of friends. I don't need See, the things that we've had in the past is Bobby's left me a lot, uh, alone in certain situations uh, where it's been a bit of a smaller fight because I've been like, oh, I don't get my case. But this time he's not left me alone. He's been dragging me out of bed in the mornings. Mm. He's been making sure I eat on time, making sure I'm drinking water. He hands me bottles of water, he makes sure I've got water in my car. He, he, he's nursed me like he did at the start and uh, that's what I think I needed. Like he said, he's talking about the kick up the arse, so that's what I needed. Um, he's done me at times, but it's got me to where I am now and you'll see on the scale tomorrow, I'm so much different. I've, I've grown into the middleweight limit, you know. I've grown, grown into a middleweight through my strength, through working with Bobby. Um, I just feel so confident about Saturday and I've never felt so confident about anything in my life. Right. Fantastic. Listen, you've heard it here from the team here. You do not want to miss this fight on Saturday. It's been built. Bragging rights of Blackpool. It's going to be a great fight. There you go. Feeling the night. <laughs> I'm Aki Kareem for British Boxers. Power. Thanks, Aki.